This video is brought to you by the book, The Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, the classic staple of flight training, revised and updated for modern-day flight training. It even includes chapter summary videos to help you fully understand each chapter. Visit m0a.com forward slash store to learn more and grab your copy. Kilos. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys some ground reference maneuvers. The maneuver I'm going to show you is actually S-turns. Now, the reason we practice all ground reference maneuvers is to see how the wind interacts with our airplane and the trajectory, the ground track that we're actually flying. Now, with S-turns, you always want to enter on the downwind. Okay, so right now, I am turning, I am on the downwind, the wind is at my back, and I have chosen a road that is perpendicular to, obviously, my track and the wind. So as you can see, we're coming up here, across our road here in just a second. The goal is, I want to make my turn, I'm going to start my turn to the right, and I want to roll out 180 degrees back around perfectly across this road again. I'll show you how that works here. So here we come. I'm crossing over my road now. I'm going to start a nice turn to the right. Now think about what the wind's doing. The wind is pushing me. It's at my back. It's pushing me away from my point. So I'm going to go ahead and come into a nice little steeper bank right here. Okay. I'm looking outside. I'm checking back inside to take a peek at my altitude. Right now I'm at 800 feet. I want to hold 800 feet. And I'm watching as I'm coming back around to my road. Now I want to start showering out some of my bank as I come back around. And what I want to do is I want to roll out wings level when I come a beam this road. So here I come, here I come, rolling out, rolling out, rolling out, and bam, wings level, parallel to my road again, a perpendicular across that road here. Let's do one to the left now. Come around to the left. Now, what's the wind doing now? The wind is pushing me closer to my point. I don't want to help the wind, so I'm going to have a nice shallow bank and let the wind do some of that work, keeping me that same distance from this road as I come back around. The thing is, I don't want to roll out too early, and I don't want to roll out too late on my S-turn, so it's all about what is the wind doing. Now think about it, as I'm entering past this 90 degree point here, the wind is pushing me towards it. I'm going to have to steepen up my bank if I want to have a chance at making this right here. So I'm going to steepen up this bank here a little bit, and here I come. Waiting for my road, here it comes, here it comes. Starting to roll out, roll out, roll out, roll out, and as I roll out, bam! There we are perfectly right back across the road once again. So not half bad, that's our S turns across a road. The main thing to ask yourself is, where is the wind? Always enter on the downwind. That way you know where the wind is coming from exactly. So you can make the smart decision on how much bank to put in uh, into uh, depending on whether you're heading to the right or to the left. So that's all I have for you guys this week. Hopefully you'll take something away from it. I'm heading back to the airport. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment box below if you're on m0a.com on what are your experience with ground reference maneuvers and any more questions you may have. And most importantly, guys, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Hey guys, Jason Shepard here. If you're not already a fan of m0a.com on Facebook, you can do so by going to facebook.com forward slash m0a.